In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added one background image of an office and then I've added one screen here, a colorful screen. And then when I click, a person comes in the background, which is pointing towards his fingers towards the, the screen. And then I've added one chart here. And this is uh, the chart which I'm going to show about the company's year on year uh, growth. And you can see here, it is highlighting on the point which we have got the highest growth. So depending on the requirement, you can just change the chart or add an image uh, to it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. To make this slide, I'm going to use these two images which I have downloaded from the internet. One is the image of the background and the one image uh, where the person is pointing his finger uh, kind of towards you or towards the screen. So this kind of image we need which you need to download from the internet. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background of this particular image. For that you need to go to the picture format and say remove background. The moment you say the remove background, you can see here it will remove the areas which we need to keep it. Okay, for that reason, what we need to do is we need to go and check this area, mark areas to keep, just click it here, and then whichever areas you need to keep it, you have to just make you can see here you need to select here and bottom also. I'm going to select it, and again, you need to click it here and the top also where the collar and the tie is there that also we need to you can see here like this i think this is okay i believe and bottom also somewhere i think this looks okay if not we need to do it uh all right so no problem so let me just keep changes and you can see here the background has been removed so let me just uh send this particular image to back send to back and then i'm going to drag this one to cover the slide something like this and you can see here this area here i'm going to increase the size like this all right wherever you want to place it you can just place it the next thing which you need to do is you need to draw one screen here for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle, draw a rounded corner rectangle, all right, and then drag this outside to make it little curved corners. Shape outline, I can select white and I can give any color here. For that, first of all, let me just go to the properties for that right mouse click, go to the format shape and select the gradient fill. By default, there are four stops. I'm going to delete two stops here. You can see here one stop i'm going to make it white all right and the other stop also i'm going to make it white the next thing which you need to play with this transparency so one transparency you can see here i would like to make maybe a 60 person and the other one this one you can make it more than 60 or 65 person all right so this looks kind of a screen and here below you can go to the line and for this also you can give some uh, different uh, uh, this gradient line also so again i'm going to select this one i don't want i can just give a black with a white all right and then you can change the direction the way you want okay so it looks a uh, black and the white here again if you want to use some different color combination also that also can be done for that i'm going to use <clears throat> sorry i'm going to use a color a light blue here and here i'm going to use a color purple okay and again you need to adjust this one you can see here so whichever color which you feel you're comfortable with you can use it and then if you want to change the direction you can just change the direction the way you want okay so you can see here like this also and if you like to increase the line width you can just come to the line and again you can increase the width of the line so you can see here i can increase it maybe two points and it looks something like this all right so our basic design is ready now it's time to add some charts or some objects 
on top of this particular screen so uh, if you want to add the chart you can go to the insert you can go to the charts and select any chart of your choice all right you can just click on the charts and then you can uh, add a line chart or pie chart or a bar chart or whichever okay so i'm going to go with the line so you can select any line chart here or if you already have a chart which you have already created before you can utilize that particular chart as well so in this case i'm going to use this chart which i've already created before so Control c and i'm going to paste it here Control v and now it's time for me to just align it properly so that this particular the index finger the line should focus on i mean it should be like this all right yeah so you can see here I have added the one chart here and then I would like to add some effect on this particular finger as if this person is touching the screen. So for that go to insert shapes. I am going to choose the oval shape. Draw one small oval shape by holding the shift key. Shape outline. Make it no outline. And shape fill. I am going to fill this with white. Then go to the effects. Soft edges. And increase the soft edges here okay you can see here then I'm going to place it like this again if you want you can increase it the soft edges so that the finger should be visible I think this is okay and then I'm going to add few more oval shapes so again select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and this time shape outline I'm going to make it white and shape fill i'm going to make it as no fill and i'm going to place it exactly here all right and then i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d and increase the size by holding the ctrl shift shift key together and then i'm just going to put it like this here and this one the line i'm going to give a dotted line for this one i'm going to choose like this you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned so we have done the, the the designing part now it's time to do some animation work so let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this image with the person pointing the finger for that i'm going to use a fly in fly in maybe i'm going to make it from right so it comes something like this and then I would like to do a animation for this one for this I can use uh, maybe a wipe effect wipe effect I can just say from left so it comes like this or if you say from bottom it comes like this so whichever way you feel better you can just use that one and that should happen after previous and at the same times I have to do for the screen also for screen again I'm going to make it either a wipe effect or a flying effect maybe let's make it a flying effect and this should happen actually after the person comes and this should be after previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here let me just show you this person comes the screen comes and then the this one or if you want this chart you can make it on click also okay once this is done i'm going to do the animation for this thing so i'm just going to select let me just select i can just reduce the size and i'm going to select this three this three okay like the, with the help of a mouse selection so once this is done i'm going to do a animation of add animation more entrance effects and i'm going to select the basic zoom and click okay and this should happen after previous okay and then i can just delay a little bit and here also i can delay a little bit here and then for these three things i'm going to select right mouse click effect options and here the timings i'm going to make it maybe a uh, slow and repeat until end of the slide or you can just select rewind one done playing okay so whichever way you want and click ok so let's see how it looks so for example now if i just click here it comes and then when i click the chart comes and you can see here it is coming like this again you can just arrange this one again let me just go to the effect options 
timings i'm going to make it until end of the slide click ok and then you can just adjust for example i don't want any delay here and there should be a delay here whatever so unless and until we play we don't know how it looks so you can see here it looks something like this all right so instead of chart you can use any other uh, image or the objects to it